Hey guys, it's Silver Snorlax, and I am back today with a really cool and fun experiment, something I've wanted to do for a long time now. This falls in line with a lot of the UV light testing I've done over roughly the past year or so. This is just an extension of it. So rather than taking months to get some kind of fading test done or some kind of generalized reading as far as to how much UV light your cards can take, uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, more of an active and immediate result of UV light and how that's going to affect certain products or uh, if we can, you know, maybe find a way to um, disperse some of the UV light that comes uh, into our into our card collections uh, and kind of go from there. So we'll be looking at a couple products that are very popular on the market and uh, we'll be talking about results as we kind of go through this. So uh, with that said, let's chat a little bit about the equipment I'm using and how it's being measured. Uh, and that's going to come with a little disclaimer here. Uh, I am 100% a novice at this. I've done lots of research into it, but there's still a lot I don't understand. I certainly don't have a degree in this, in this field by any means, but I am doing the best I can uh, with the equipment that I have. So I went out, I bought a wonderful $200 piece of lab equipment. Uh, this is a UV light meter, and what it does is it pulls in light or reads light with this white sensor here on the left, and uh, it kind of figures out how much light is coming down in terms of milliwatts per centimeter squared. And usually when we talk about UV light, it's usually done in nanometers. That's kind of how it's done. It's done on the spectrum. Um, you know, UV index is kind of the same way. It's amount of light that comes through. Um, this is a little bit different from that. Um, it's measuring how much light w is affecting a generalized area. So again, it's by millo milliwatts by centimeter squared. It's, it's, it's a coverage thing versus a spectrum. So I tried to find a way to see if I could convert these numbers over into something uh, usable like nanometers and honestly there really isn't anything like that um, because the two measurements are different so there isn't a way to convert it over so we're just going to take these numbers as what they are and we're going to look at percentage drops and hope that gives us a better understanding as far as to what is actually happening when we use certain products to protect our cards so with that said, um, you'll see these numbers on the right here. They're going to bounce a little bit. I've had anywhere from six to eight today. Um, it's currently measuring the sun. If I change the angle of the sensor to face closer to the sun or further away, you'll see an increase. Um, if there is cloud coverage overhead, you'll see that number drop dramatically. If there's an atmospheric disturbance of some kind, you'll see that number drop dra dramatically. Uh, this is as authentic as it can get. I, and I'm actually filming this video on the 4th of July outside it's at least 95 degrees on the deck that i'm filming on um you're gonna hear some birds some lawnmowers some yard work planes over you're gonna hear it all so it's as authentic and as real world as you can get and that was the whole point of this experiment is what are real world conditions and you know in this case it might be one of the worst case scenarios because there's so much sun right now i'm definitely getting sunburned i can feel it on my arms but uh it's worth it if we can get this information and we can get it Get, get some kind of semblance of what it actually is. So um, I'm done talking. Let's actually do some measurements here. Uh, the, first piece, the first product I want to work with is a piece of UV resistant acrylic. And uh, this is actually something I purchased from Amazon. It uh, was originally listed as like 98% UV resistant acrylic. I came back to it a couple months later and they had removed that and just said UV resistant acrylic. And I actually reached out to the seller and said, hey, what's the deal? What is the percentage of UV resistant acrylic? resistance they're like it's just uv resistant we don't know so um this might be a really good opportunity to learn you know what what qualifies as uv resistant for some people but we're here to find out so um, we're going to take our starting number and we're going to cover the sensor with this uv resistant acrylic we're going to see what the percentage drop is and uh, we'll do some hard numbers from there all right, let's take a look. So right now we're reading at 6.83, and I realize that might be a little bit difficult for some of you to read, uh, and that number is gonna fluctuate a little bit. We're at about a 6.8 right now. Let's go ahead and cover with the UV resistant acrylic. Okay, that's at 6.8. We'll remove again, it does jump up. Uh, 6.85, we'll recover again and a drop of not quite a full number. So um, I'm not very good at math, at least not in my head on the fly. I will do a hard number reading later, um, but I can tell you right now that's somewhere between 10 and 20%. Um, it's very, very small, uh, definitely closer to 10 than it is 20. It's not a big drop. So uh, I, you know, depending on how these other samples read, 
um, might be a fair warning for anybody out there. If you're going to buy something that says UV resistant on it, you get a hard number. So the next product I'm going to be looking at is an Ultra Pro One Touch. Um, so I have both sides of it here. Uh, we're only going to cover one side of the meter with one, one piece of acrylic because obviously if we put them both together you might get a different reading. Uh, but Ultra Pro states that these are UV resistant. I would love to see how much. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. So let's take a look. Our reading currently is about 6.8. It's jumping a little bit. Downward trending back up. Okay, and we'll cover at about 6.8. And there's a drop. That's a significant drop. We are reading at 0 0.06. We will remove. See our number come back up. Let's measure a second time. We're at 6.8, dropping slightly, trending down, covering. And we drop to a 0 0.06 again. So there is a significant amount of UV light protection with this. Let's try it with the other side as well. I believe this may be considered the faceplate. Um, let's get our reading first. Initial reading is at about 6.75. We're covering dropping down to 0 0.06 so we are consistent here back up to 6.75 and cover again wow that's a significant drop and again I'm not good at math um, but I can tell you tell you that's well into the 90 percentiles we'll drop that and leave that go all right uh, the next couple of products that I have are actually things that I custom ordered uh, for some of my own PSA cards uh, and it is uh, slabs of UV resistant acrylic and UV resistant glass. I wanted to see if there was a difference between the two. So here we are. We have the glasses on my left and uh, my plexi on the right. And we'll see if there's a significant difference between the two. Let's start with the plexi uh, acrylic. So not the glass. We're reading at, we're jumping a little bit here. We might have some cloud coverage above. That might be why. All right, we'll see if we can study out 6.7 and cover. 0 0.06, okay, we're getting, oh, is it, it's dropping a little more, 0 0.05. Take it off again, we have a reading of 6.78775, we're bouncing. Cover at 7.75, see if we can get a reading. 0 0.06, so this is pretty much on par um, with the uh, UV resistant one touch. That's really cool. And for those of you who um, either read my write up or watched the video uh, of the last time I did some UV resistance testing uh, for over the course of several months, uh, the UV one touch actually performed very well, like better than most of the other sample sets that I looked at. So that's pretty impressive. Uh, let's move on to the glass. This is, uh, it states it has a special coating this side must face out. Let's try that. We're at about the six point, we're dropping a little bit, we're bouncing 6.7, we'll give a quick cover. Okay, 0 0.08. I'm take that off, make sure that number didn't increase significantly. Okay, it's about 6.8 and covering again. All right, 0 0.08 is the reading that on this this one. Um, I am curious. It says special coating. This side must face out. Let's see what happens when we flip it around and it doesn't face out what the resistance level is then. We're at 6.8-ish again and covering. Okay, no significant difference. We'll do one more measurement. 6.83, 6.6, dropping 6.35. And again, we're dealing with variables. This is exactly how UV light works. 6.75, we're all over the place. We'll cover real fast. And it is consistent, 0 0.08. So I'm not sure why the special coating needs to face out. I don't have a full understanding of that, um, but that's really cool. So um, interesting numbers. I will have a percentage breakdown in the description of this video so you guys can see the actual percentages as far as to how much UV resist resistance was actually offered here today. Um, I can tell you it's well into the 90s um, with um, pieces I custom bought and uh, with the UV resistant one touch I was stunned by. Um, I think the biggest takeaway from this whole experiment is that 
anything that is labeled as UV resistant um, acrylic and then doesn't give you a hard number uh, should not be trusted. <laughs> um, obviously what I used just a moment, a moment ago, that first sample set, uh, was not good stuff and that is something that we should um, be aware of in the community is you know don't buy the cheap stuff buy stuff that is you know certified to be 99% UV resistant um, that's a big deal make sure you know what you're purchasing don't buy just the cheap stuff because it's cheap so um, with any luck we'll, I might look at other samples in the future but this is uh, kind of where I'm at right now um, if you guys have suggestions on other things you would like me to check for UV resistances, if you want to submit a sample to me in order to have me UV test it, I will be happy to do that for you and post results on this channel. Just reach out and let me know. Um, I believe that's going to be it for me for right now, guys. I really hope that information is helpful helpful to you guys in the community. I know it's helpful to me. Uh, I'll have another write-up on all my findings here, so you'll be able to read that as well on E4, so check that out. Uh, and that's going to be it for me for right now, guys. So thanks a lot for watching, and hopefully more testing uh, coming up soon.